Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Augustus Lee, just once again in the Lord of the Rings mod. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. So, ahead of time, I'll go ahead and show you. I went from the Cedar Woods into the Harid Mountains, which allowed me to fast travel all the way here. And then I went into the jungle, so we can now explore all kinds of places. We could even maybe go to the Half Trolls territory. We could discover the Taurithim. Taurithim. Taurithrim. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Um, but I here's the thing. I don't know if I'll take my horse because along the way I found rhinos. And there's all kinds of cool things here that we could look at. Although I think this might have been during the Morwaith invasion. So that might be a bit of a problem. Is there an invasion here? There's melons. Uh, what are you? A dick dick. Maybe it's pronounced differently? I don't know. Strange. But I brought a saddle. Oh, this is a good rhino. 42 health. That's pretty good. Now these are... Rhinos are incredible... Um... War mounts. Because they... I think they have some sort of knockback charge. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't have rhino armor. Oh, yeah. This seems a little bit overpowered. Oh, hello. Oh, but I'm killing my rhino. Okay, so yeah, I can understand how people would use these. I also, I dyed my money pouch gold. Probably would have made more sense to do it silver, but whatever. And I think, yeah, you can heal them with anything else that a horse could be healed with. Alright, well, now we'll use my custom mount. I want to see what there is in the jungle. Hmm. This should be interesting. Traveling to Otok Ka? K? Ka? I don't know what I'm. I don't know how to say that. Let me skip. Oh my, I thought I'd like glitched it out or something. Holy smokes, the lag. Whoa. This is cool. I just wish it weren't lagging. That's better. So, what have we got out here? Are there people? What can you use Coco for? So it's, it can be used in a drink. Okay. Oh, look! Tarathim. The evil eye will never have power here. Ooh, a blow gunner. So this is kind of cool. Although, I'm guessing the best way to get alignment would be to kill their enemies. Maybe I should do that. The Morwaith spawn out here, so I'll just teleport to Deep Harad, and then we'll come back here. But I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really want to try to do a whole lot of quests. I'd rather kill enemies. Let me fast or skip. There we go. Oh, hello, 
lions. Lions seem totally chill with you unless you attack them. There's also Jim's Bach. Oh, oops. Sorry. And zebras, which are kind of like horses. What does Jim's Bach drop? Jim's Bach hide. Hmm. Seems kind of interesting. There's a big baobab tree. But where are... Oh, I just... I just killed a bird. Some more rhinos. Baby rhino. With a massive head. What just happened there? Oh, a rhino spawned up there, I think. What is this? Tarathim? Tarathrim? I'm never gonna say that right. This is kind of interesting. It's like a safari in Africa or something. But are there any peoples? Oh great, I accidentally angered some rhinos. I didn't mean it, but I found some of the more with. I'm sorry. It wasn't personal, but I will pull you guys through. <laughs> Sorry, zebra. Oh, and I shot it again. I think I'm gonna have to kill- okay, good. The zebra's fine now. I like this. Tally-ho! feels kind of unbalanced. You just run through these guys? Well, I want to see... Okay, am I gaining alignment with... Tower with him? Oh no, you hit my... Oh. He's purposefully attacking the rhino. I should get a pouch out for... Stuff. Hmm. Tarithim guest. It's pretty good, probably. So can, they can spawn everywhere. How difficult would it be to get to Tarnatugorum? Is that where is that? This whole area. And Tarnatugorum. Okay. Well, we can make our way in that direction. Maybe it'd be better to go over here. Because I don't think there's a lot of people around here. Are these wildberries? No, they're raspberries. Not that it matters, I have over a stack and a half of wildberries because I just bone mealed a bush, thinking that I could make more poisoned arrows. Or mo just poisoned arrows in general, I've never had any, but apparently you have to be an evil faction to be able to do that, and I am clearly not an evil faction. Okay, so we want to head northeast. Oh my goodness, the lag is real right now. I wonder if I can handle half trolls. I hope I can. More rhinos. Avoid the rhinos. They're not happy with me. Ooh, giraffes. Hi there. I wonder if you could shoot from on top of those things. Probably be pretty hard to kill. Nope. Do you guys actually drop anything? Or are you completely useless? And how do you keep- oh, there we go. You didn't drop anything. Stupid. What is this? Banana wood? With bananas? Can I like- in my wheat. Hang around. A banana. Huh. Well, I'm not really interested in that. Oh. Wait a minute. I think we found some of the more waif. Too bad my invasion horn is completely useless. Does anything take damage? Interesting. Oh, you 
guys are hostile, huh? Okay, well, what do we got here? A giant ravine. Which one of you idiots thought it would be a good idea to build a, your settlement right next to a giant ravine? That is a pretty butterfly. I don't know if I can smelt these down. Can I? Okay, yeah, so I can get lots of gems block hide. I don't know what it's useful for, though. More with chieftain. So you're the big boy. I mean, your armor's pretty cool. You guys seem to have some real AI problems, though. All the Harad factions seem to have difficulty with moving. Banana beer? That sounds like a joke. Cooked zebra? Whatever. Don't know that there's anything good in these places. Oh look, there's another one. What have we got here? Are the Tower of Them perfectly fine with me killing civilians? Oh, yes. Totally fine. Interesting. Some uh, factions don't like you committing war crimes, so, com like killing civilians. Tower of Them don't seem to have that conscience. Man, there are just villages everywhere here. It's not really worth marking down, because it's just along the road. Huh. I got a crafting table, but of course I'm an enemy, so they're not very happy with me. Seems like I'm going pretty fast. I thought rhinos were supposed to be slower. Unfortunately, they can't jump. Which means I get to go all the way around this room and try to avoid the other rhinos. I was expecting more of the warriors to spawn. They don't seem to very frequently spawn here, if at all. Of course, my Gondor dudes are everywhere, because I can somehow conquer this biome. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, but whatever. I was surprised that the lions don't give a fuss about you unless you attack them. That seems messed up. Uh, shouldn't lions just go right for you? So now we have a s another smaller one. Okay, so here's some warriors. So this must be a warrior camp. Except they're having, like, an existential crisis halfway through charging at me. And they like it when I slay warriors better than when I slay the rank-and-file people. You did. Okay, well, onward. Do giraffes do anything if you run into them? No. I'm surprised how much knock- Wait a minute. What? The giraffes sound like horses. Oh, come on, mod developers. Surely you could just program the giraffes with actual giraffe sounds or something. They don't sound like horses, do they? Unless maybe I'm wrong and they sound almost identical to horses, so they left that. That doesn't seem right. I don't know that I've ever heard a giraffe make noises, though. Oh, yeah, well. Seems like out here is an... Oh, my! What are you doing? Can I hit you? What do you drop? I can hit you. Monster hunter? Attack and destroy a monster. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Gondorian renegades? I never saw any of those on my travels in the Corsair coasts. Which is where I thought they were supposed to spawn. 
Evidently I was mistaken or something. This is quite the powerful mount. I think my my horse might be faster, maybe? I don't know. I do know, though, that I will ride this thing to war, especially if I can get it armor. If I can get it armor, it will be the perfect mount. Because I think you, you can only put rhino armor on it. If you could put horse armor, that wouldn't make any sense. Oh, look. Another village or encampment or whatever. Hello. It's a village. Fortunately, you guys tend to sometimes drop silver. Do you guys have anything worth looting at all? Let me. Hey. Okay. Fine. I was going to leave you in peace and just take your stuff. You forced this on yourself. Just know that. Oh, sorry. Is this. Oh, it's red clay. Interesting. I thought it was quicksand. Which you could probably find out here. Right? Oh, look. Another. encampment of some sort. Are you guys. Oh, you guys are warriors. So, uh, come on out. How did I shoot myself? Are you wielding No, that's a regular. Oh, hello. Do you want to get beaten up too? Cool with that. Unfortunately, there's no man's bane. You guys have real problems seeing that I'm here. Hibiscus flowers. You can make some amazing hibiscus lemonade with that stuff. And it, uh, it looks like there might be yam plants. Can rhinos swim? Oh, yes, crocodiles. Crocodiles everywhere. But it is immensely satisfying to just run. Look, look at this. Imagine this is just a group of enemies. And you just kill them all. There's dr the drafts, which are all making. Horse noises. And then you probably take fall damage on impact from so high. If I actually fling someone that high. I'm fast traveling to Kim and Khan. The forest of demons. I was just expect oh my goodness. seem pretty easy to kill. Maybe that's just because they were unarmed? And I'm also mounted on a rhino? Who needs some more food? I'm just gonna chew through all my wheat. Oh, hello. You guys are... Oh my goodness. Now these guys seem a little bit more formidable and dangerous. Didn't help that they also snuck up behind me. Oh, I should not miss like that. How much damage do I deal to these guys? Okay, so I do pretty decent. Man, but they're everywhere.
other actual full-grown trolls. How do I get down here? Seems like there's a lot more trolls down in here. Monstrous things. We are now in wherever the whatever how do you say this name? Like does so much damage to unarmored units. Even armored units still does a lot. Oh, are those homes? Yeah, those mound things? Good grief, there's too many. Wish I could find a table of command. I should bring one with me just to see. Oh yes, I've stumbled upon some sort of village thing. sort of table of command thing would be nice. That way I can see how much conquering your land I've done, and if it's actually doing anything. Ooh. Is that a warlord? No, he's just a warrior. He looks bigger than the rest or something, or maybe it's just his different color. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. <laughs> okay, how many have I killed now? 130. That's pretty good. But I think this is turning out to be not as interesting as I expected. So maybe it's time to go back, oh gosh, to the Tower of Thrym and see what quests they might give me now. And I'd also like to find some sort of city. Not a very creative lot. Oh no, not the thistles. More thistles. About the only thing that grows out here. Alright, so if I come here, can I fast travel deep in the center of the jungle? keep anybody off of us while we get out of here. Alright. Nach Ka. Again, or Nach Ch. K Ka. Whatever. Let me. Come on. Mr. Fast Travel. Whoa. Lag. Oh, so much lag. I should keep you at near full health, that way if anything happens, you're not gonna die on me. Is that a flamingo? Huh. Did they drop anything? Maybe not. <laughs> That's kinda funny. Well, what have we got out here? Probably some jungle villages or something interesting? Any sort of awesome structure? Or is it just a l bunch of people, occasionally? What is that noise? Midges. I didn't know those were a thing. I bet they attack you, though. Flamingos, they make such weird noises. <laughs> Where are the people? I think this jungle is a bit difficult for Minecraft to run. Mm. Why do I have just a half troll warhammer lying around? I don't need that. 
Don't need that sort of garbage. Where? Whoa! It's difficult to travel with all this lag. Come on, Rhino. Yes, I believe in you. Back to you. Tell me about your displeasure. I killed a butterfly. I thought that was a person standing there, but it was a banana tree. I thought it was like an orange half tree. There's more midges. Here's this big open clearing again. Where all the oh there we go. Here's some NPCs. Hello folks, I just killed a butterfly in front of you and I'm riding a rhino. My goodness. You are What are you wearing? Lots of cool face paint. Do you got any homes around here or anything? Places to stay and loot and talk to people? Or are you all just hanging out? They don't seem to spawn in the actual jungle. I better look and see where they actually sp the buildings actually spawn. So they spawn... I, I researched it and the buildings spawn out in the villages themselves spawn in the clearings and it looks like the real loot is found in these temples which can be found in the jungle but I don't know how easy or hard it is to find this is kind of interesting is this oh this is part of the road just really poorly made I don't know who could build a road on a vertical or is that vertical or horizontal? I don't know, whatever. I do want to find a nice large village though. There's all kinds of cool things we can find. And I wonder what units do they have? Are they um are they difficult to hire? Them chieftain. No pledge required. Mmm. Interesting. And they seem pretty cheap. We could get blow gunners. It'd be cool to bring some of those guys back just for fun. Collect two poison tower thim daggers. Let's see. Dagger. Nope, too many G's. Okay, so. Tower thim daggers. Those are more ways. Tower thim daggers. Obsidian shard and a stick. Where do you get obsidian? Shards. Obsidian gravel. Hmm. Maybe it was a mistake to pick up that quest. We'll see. Ooh, blow gunners. Wonder how effective they are. <laughs> that is so incredibly satisfying. Okay, so they drop feathers. I guess that's semi useful. Um, I'll keep that on me, I suppose. I don't use feathers for much, mainly because I'm kind of too lazy to make arrows. Tarathan battle axes. Where can you find obsidian gravel? Let me look that up. 
not as sure about um, these areas. Let's see. Obsidian Shard. You can be detained by using an unsmeltery. Deposits of obsidian gravel found lying on the surface of the jungle. Well, I'll see what I can do then. If I find any... Then I just went in one big circle, I think. Oh well, not to worry. Too bad my little rhino can't jump very high. I say he's little, but I mean, he's not really that little. The legs really don't make that much sense, though. Kind of a strange model. It is interesting that I keep killing butterflies everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't obsidian gravel. No, it's just jungle grass. And the jungle dirt seems to be a different color. I don't know, maybe this will have to be a quest for another time. I think I should get home. I still have to finish my castle. Let's do that. Um, I'll drop those quests because I can't... I can't deliver on those right now. Maybe later. But... I need to get back home. Where's that? Rasmorthil. Never heard of that. So we'll come here. I really ought to get my Mithril Warhammer fixed up. The question is, do I put Blessed on it, if I even have a Blessed book, or do I put something else like the Knockback? So I, I forgot to show this earlier, but I finished this, the castle walls, I think. I don't, unless I decide to add something. So these towers are identical to the other towers, except I need to make banners still. I added these stairwells at all the corners that it made sense to add them. On the inside, they're kind of plain. I liked the look of the battlements on both sides. It looks pretty nice, I think. On the outside, I think I did a good job. I have all my rangers here because three times uh, Corsairs of Umbar spawned an invasion, which was really kind of pathetic. I had to do a ton of landscaping because you can kind of see, I didn't do the best job at cleaning it up, but this whole area was all hill, so I cut back the hill to be much farther away. And I wanted you to be able to see the tower and walls from this area and not have the hill right up against the walls. I think I did that well enough. I discovered that rangers of Athelion are completely broken when fighting an invasion, especially when they're all invisible and everybody focuses on you. You just slay everybody easily. Not that big of a deal. Let's see, I should repair my armor and add something to my Warhammer. Oh, wait. Oh, I added Swift already. Oh. Hmm. Was that the right thing to do, I wonder? Maybe not. Didn't think about that. Wish I could buy Mithril somewhere. I should probably make a little pen for my rhino. Although, I need to smelt all this stuff up. In case any of it has any iron. 
What have we got in here? Rotten flesh. More rotten flesh. Got enough to make a large pouch. Oh, I picked up a lot of rotten flesh, actually. Okay, that's nice, I guess. Let's see. This pouch has stuff in it? Yes, it does. Throw out all the potentially smeltable items. It's a little annoying that people keep coming into my house and not even wiping their shoes on the rug. There's a rug. I'd like to see what my conquest did. I gained some tiny bit of faction out here in Deep Harad before I moved on. Okay. So here it has no effect because it aids no one. Over here it had some effect. Except on the mountain range. It doesn't. Interesting. What have we got so far? Rhino horns. Useless. Now, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, I wanted to repair my. Um. I want to repair my. Warhammer. I wish I could. <sighs> if only there was a way to remove Swift off my Warhammer. I really wish I hadn't done that now. I did actually repair my Mithril Matic using money. I needed to use it during my building. So now let's travel to Erebor, to the Dwarfen Dude. I hope my rhino doesn't run off. Not that it would be that hard to find another one, but, you know, I feel like I'm bonded with him. Okay. Uh, this is not gonna be cheap. Smith. Who oh, my goodness. Oof. You, sir, are a swindler. If you don't mind me saying so. Do you have anything good? No. Not even the spear. Okay, well, back home and we go. My hammer and hands may be old, but I get the job done. My, You also repeat yourself. Did you know that? Because you just said the same thing twice. Could be a sign of insanity. Oh yeah, I have all this Lemboss that I don't eat. I really ought to eat more of that. Put this up. I don't think I need it, but I should move my bodyguard. So let's see, this is ready units. What did you get attacked by? I see. Someone picked a fight that they couldn't finish? Another Darwinian elf merchant? I swear, we've had like four of those spawn, and none of them are any use. They all have garbage. We are proud to fight amongst such a great warrior such as you. Well, that's good to hear. I moved these crafting tables because I was tired of running back and forth. Okay, so I'll just put you guys right here. Actually, what I can do... Can I, like, push you? Yeah, I can. So what I could do is just put you right here. Command. Guard mode on. So you'll just stand there. And then I'll push this guy over. It probably makes more sense for him to be on the block. Doesn't it? So I should, uh, take guard mode off for a second, put you guard mode on, range one. Command, guard mode, range one. There we go. So now we got those two guys there. You're still there, that's good. So I'm thinking my throne will be right here. I'll have a forge out the back, and I would like... 
over the forge, I'm gonna have the wall have a sort of bridge to connect to the rest of my castle. Um, maybe I'll put a barracks here or something. I might put another bridge here. I don't know what this is gonna be. This will be like some sort of guard tower thing along with this one. And then over in the corner here... This might be the forge? I don't know. I haven't decided. This might just be the staircase up and down, maybe? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to put it there, does it? Oh. Someone shot it. Over th ah. That's right, stupid. You picked the wrong fight. He threw his spear and missed. How sad for him. You two, keep this place guarded. And don't let anybody through. I might want more of these guys eventually. I'll have sort of pillars here, and I'm going to use the Numenorian brick, which is actually a really interesting block. If you look at the Numen... Why does it not show up? Num... Brick. If you look... Where is it? Brick, brick, brick. I think I can't see the forest for the trees. Um. Oh, there it is. So if you look, it's actually made out of mortar rock, meaning that I've have. Oh, I totally forgot to fix my armor. You have to go to Mordor to actually pick this stuff up. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. You chill out there. I do need to have some sort of uh, small stables attached. I still, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do once we get higher than this level. I'm probably gonna work on that off camera because it'll take a long time for me to figure out. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below and subscribe. It helps my channel out and helps people see the videos that I make. See you guys next time.